the feeling you get from it is probably more powerful than like any drug or drink. You get a massive sense of like kind of natural euphoria from like just you're in the middle of nowhere in front of these speakers that turn up. Some people might say too loud, but the loud speakers pushing out bass and it just makes you feel really good just being there. Natural euphoria, euphoria, euphoria. People always think that there's a dark side to it, but there really isn't. The reason we are out there is just to have fun, and that's it. We're, it's, it's outside, we're with everyone that we want to be, we're hearing the music that we want to hear, because people think, oh, it's illegal, it's going to be filled with horrible people. It really isn't to them. Like, yeah, you will get some idiots there, but you, you're going to get them anywhere you go. But everyone else that's there are just some of the nicest people I've ever met. I think that there's the fact that there's no control at all over who's going to them means that there's an awful lot of people who are too young to be in that sort of situation there, being exposed to all sorts of dangerous activities, including drugs, sexual activity, loud music. There's no health and safety regulations in these places. Um, and I think it does encourage a sense that breaking the law is okay. I am very suspicious of the idea that people just do it because they want to have fun and everything else. I think there's a lot of organisation involved and somebody somewhere is exploiting somebody else. And the person being exploited is probably the young people who are going. No matter where you go, you're going to get, you're going to get health and safety hazards. So just because we're outside doesn't mean that we're completely ignoring the fact that we need to stay safe. We know what we're doing. We're being, we're sensibly being unsensible in a way, I suppose you could put it. I also have concerns also about exactly where these are happening. I mean, presumably it's happening on private land. Um, the health and safety of that is of course an issue, but also the damage that can be done to that land, if it's a farmland or something like that, that number of people leaving litter, churning up the earth, all sorts of things. Uh, that creates a big problem for the landowner. Whenever we organise any kind of party, one, once it's over and like all the punters are gone, we clean up. We make sure we don't leave the spot that we're using in a tip. Because one, we, which we're not going to just go up there and wreck someone's land. And two, we're not going to be able to use that land again if we leave it in a state and if it's a good spot well we're obviously going to want to use it again. I would be perfectly happy to go along to, to see exactly what happens. I have to say I haven't been to a free party as they exist now. I'm sure they're very different from the way they were uh, 30, 40 years ago when we used to uh, go out and make a lot of noise and do everything else. Um, and. I would be very happy to go, but I don't think I would be very welcome there. I'd be seen as part of the reason why they have free parties is to get away from people like me. I've never kind of like felt as happy as I have anywhere else when I'm at a free party because just you're with all your friends, you're just having a good time. You're not being watched by anyone, so you just do whatever you want really. And just, it's a, sense of freedom, hence why they're called free parties, I suppose. Whatever you choose to do, whether it be go to free parties or out in town, just make sure someone always knows where you are and that you're safe and that no one pressures you into doing something you don't want to.